and welcome back to Eerie Covenant. How are you witches today? So I've been putting a lot of work into my Twitch. If you are interested in quite frequent lives um, about different witchy topics, please uh, join my Twitch. I will link it in the description. We can interact and I can answer questions better and I really like it. It's an easy and workable platform. So go on over there and join us. So I wanted to give a little update about my path working and what I've been doing. And uh, it's been quite a ride so far. So I was working with Beelzebub, as you guys know, and uh, had a little bit of Lucifer's energy around me, but Belial kind of came in and uh, energy bombed all of it and my life really so i wanted to talk about belial and what i've been doing and how he's working through me um some of these thoughts are from my book of shadows on what i wrote when i first started with belial and uh, some of it is some information i jotted down from uh become a living god and what they've said about Belial, but most of it is my own thoughts. And of course, I cannot state anything as exact fact. These are my path workings and what I uncovered and what I believe personally. So Belial, he without a master or the worthless one. So I do have some belief that Belial may become my patron demon. Sorry guys, if I'm looking down, it is because I'm reading this out of my grimoire. So, his energy has been around me, whispering to me. Patron to anarchist souls, the rebel, me. Baneful dark side of me, anti-authority. He aspires to abolish social hierarchy. Like history, those obedient and who worked for authority have had a higher value in society. So those disabled or not working is considered worthless to the authority. I have always rebelled, especially against authority. Schools, police, religion, and the government like a fire burning inside of my blood, boiling rage, and anyone who dare try to control me. I've lost countless jobs from arguments with bosses. Perhaps Belial has been here through me for some time now. I discovered today from divination and instinct that Belial and I are alike, in the same spirit to rebel. Hence, getting the name, the worthless one. Belial is one who liberates. The first demonic gatekeeper. The definition of godhood from become a living god is freedom to define oneself. We're seeing a rise of witches like never before. Spiritualists, mystics, and heathens. People waking up to identify self, and that includes the taboo. Under hierarchy, only a priest or an emperor or a leader may give truth or moral code and law, which equals the ball and chain. Not to mention, I want to add, um, this isn't written, but pause for a moment. So the ball and chain, we have to realize not only is our chains within the world, but within ourselves as well. In this path working, I have learnt a lot about breaking chains that still hold me even when I thought I didn't have any more. Again, going back to my thoughts and my grimoire. In path working with Belial, he smashes the gate of Mount Olympus so we left-hand path sorcerers may take their flame back to power human evolution. Now these are E.A. Coetting's words. I have to give them credit. Um, not mine. 
but they're my thoughts exactly. Um, through my findings, the reason I included some of his words is because they are things that I found to be true and can link and relate to um, with his path working. So a lot of mine resonates and I get the same results from the spirit as other practitioners. So I like to include their thoughts if it resonates with mine in my path working so that I have that, uh, that other source I can compare my findings to. And I call these little breakthrough moments where if I can link my findings in my path working to other black practitioners findings, then I'm like, hell yeah, we're getting somewhere. So that's why I um, I will include other people's. So, <clears throat> for the first gatekeeper to be allowed admission into the left-hand path, they must become who they truly are without a master telling them who they are. Belili, trespasser beyond the gate, disperser of tyrants, nighttime ruler of the underworld, ball, isle, Lord of Arrogance, Torrent of Death, Eats Racha Belial. So that was a quote again from Become a Living God Source. Now back to my thoughts. None may enter to the infernal without passing the gates. And EA describes a swarm of shadows which I saw myself calling upon Lucifer in a ritual but as i go on this path working i now see it was actually belial who answered naive me right but now i'm a bit more familiar with these energies so it was belial who answered my calling and then i went on to uh i drew a sigil in case anybody is interested and what his sigil looks like. So to communicate with dark inner entities without evocation. Um, this is EA's method. And I used it and it proves to work well. However, I added a few thoughts in here. So you're going to sit in the darkness with a black candle. And this is for like beginners on the left hand path. I thought it'd be cool to include to help anyone interested. So if you want to communicate with these entities, but you're frightened or you don't really want to do a ritual or evocation, definitely not an invocation if you're new, um, this would be a very good method of communication. So you're going to sit in the darkness with one black candle, light it, then conjure the infernal entity to you. Use the sigil and the name of the spirit or call out to darkness as a whole. Once you feel the energy shift, blow out the candle and watch the darkness. Observe anything that appears. Stay in the right mind state. You know, that trance-like state we get into from meditation. You want to uh, get into that headspace and that state of mind while you are doing any type of spirit communication as well. Because it opens you up more for things to come through and flow to you. So you are scrying with the darkness, not looking through it. The darkness itself will come to life. You're awakening the inner vision. Belial does not come alone. The Goetia says he has 80 legions. E.A. Coetting says 80 legions is an understatement. I would have to agree with that. I have sensed uh, many different spiritual energies and other lesser demons around that I tend to ignore um, unless it's relevant to my path working. So I would have to probably agree. Suffering is essential without growth. Belial's words. The ends, rituals, all are trying to teach how to drop the mind and just be. So continuing on, this was a different night. This was 4-24-2020. Belial. Last night at the witching hour, I woke up. I felt him in my room. It was infested with his energy. Watching me. 
intently. He would not let me sleep well. I sense I was supposed to do something, but I let my worry get in the way. Next time, I will meditate. I feel like that's what I was supposed to do. I'm still learning, and I'm sharing it with you guys. The past three months, I wake often at the witching hour. I wrote Belial's name in a different uh, language there. Um, and then I said I was so hot. I was sweating. Um, it was pushing me. I feel I may and let myself go down that infernal tunnel and become one with my black flame. In the world, I see the darkness persevering. Masses are dying, feeding the bloodthirsty spirits and land. Those left are ascending and waking up. Could Beelzebub have something to do with the COVID? Belial, mass awake, rebellion, freedom, and anarchy. The sky is going crazy. Meteor showers, new moons, new planets, and alignments. Lucifer, the flame within, burning away illusion as we begin to awaken and change. And then Le Leviathan, armies at sea right now. The rulers are at odds, creating fear and holding what control they have. Yet, I see the system crumbling. The tyrants will fall soon. All will be clear and revealed. A new world will be born. Reality is breaking through illusion and imprisonment. Inside of my flesh, deep down, my spirit dances with the black seed inside. Rejoice, dark witches. A little dark, a little, um, you know, out there, my thoughts, but they're written here for a reason. And I did say I was going to update and share my path workings with you guys. Um, I do plan on doing a very long in depth video on my path workings with the spirits, but until my work is done, I have to be a bit vague. There are some things I cannot share that I have to keep silent about with my path working in order for things to work out the way I need them to. Again, um, I'm not stating any of this as fact. This is fact to me. Fact to my path working. So you could get different thoughts. You could get other things working with these entities. But this is what I got. Here are some earlier thoughts I had at the beginning of my path working with Belial. I, th I wrote here, Belial, breaker of chains, overthrower of tyrants. As I continue to explore with the left hand path practice, Belial has come into play. What I find terrifying and amazing is more experienced black sorcerers speak, announcing and confirming my messages from these entities. It seems like whichever uh, entity on the demonic realm or the darker side, um, it seems when I'm coming into contact with them, literally like a day or two later, I'll see a video uploaded from other dark practitioners experiencing similar or the same things or even receiving the same messages. So I thought that was quite interesting. Belial seems to play an important role to us in this time of plague, lockdown, and fear. Can we black sorcerers harness this energy? Most importantly, can we direct it so that we may be on top in the end? Many changes are happening. So those are just a couple random thoughts I wanted to share with you guys. I am actually learning a lot of deep stuff I will share it um, with you it's just I don't think a lot of people would understand what I am trying to explain so I'm going to ease you guys into it first and then later um, we'll gradually get into the deeper stuff just um, if I threw it all out there now um, I think people would freak out but <laughs> Or I would appear insane. But they say it takes a mad person to walk this path. 
Who knows? Now, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will be updating you a bit more frequently about my left-hand path work, my dream work. Um, a lot of things happening in my dreams, guys, and daily, almost, I will get little hints or messages from Belial to do certain things or to open my eyes. Um, today's lesson was validation and attachment to other things around me that affect me. Um, I have to obtain and grasp that title of I am my own master and have no chains holding me back. And if certain emotions or thoughts even hold me back, I have to break those chains. I have to break attachment to certain things and I have to harness my power and the power of these entities that they are teaching me and claim that title. I do feel like Belial is the opening and the start of a lot for me in my path. I feel like more will be discovered within myself and within the things around me, my reality. There will be many challenges, a lot of shadow work, and a lot of work to be done for my ascension. Well, those were my thoughts today on Belial. He may be labeled the worthless one, but I love all outcasts. <laughs> so, he's definitely not worthless, in my opinion. But very useful and I do highly recommend uh, the book Belial written by E.A. Coiting and a couple other black magicians that book was excellent and those are my thoughts the ramblings of a mad person or discovering truth abilities empowerment you decide <laughs>